Hey, good morning everyone, Rob here. Happy Thursday. Pretty nice morning here. Just making my way out to the boardwalk in area two at Del Norwegens Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. An overcast day today. 64 degrees right now. Supposed to get up to around 79 today. The water temperature is 75 degrees. Boy, flat, flat morning. Nice. It's been about a week since we've seen it this calm. Lots of clouds out there, though. The tide is pretty high right now. There was a great blue heron up here and just took off. Wow, the beach has got a, a whole different shape to it. Just, I didn't come out here one day and the beach has changed shape tremendously here. You can see it's, it just kind of dips up and down, up and down. It's like a roller coaster all along in the no north end of area two here. Wow. I don't know if you can see those dips. <laughs> it's amazing how this beach changes. In just two days. Let's take a walk. We'll head south here for a little bit. Just walk down the beach and then turn around. Walk the other way. looks good see what, it, see what it looks like if that Sun pops out it's hard to tell without the Sun being up I don't smell any smell any of that awful red tide don't see any signs of it right here of course we all know how quickly that can change, unfortunately. Boy, there is just a large amount of shells on the beach out here. Looks like they've been picked through. There's a lot of them. It's been a constant line of shells since I hit the beach here this morning. All up on the high tide line. Seeing a lot of fighting conchs, our usual fighting conchs, and clam shells and slipper shells, broken tulip shells, broken olive shells. Boy. Nothing's jumping out at me here. A little hard right now in the shadows here. I do better when the sun's shining bright here when it comes to shelling. As 
you can see it's we got some pretty overcast pretty overcast skies here this morning Four degrees, water temperature 75. Trying to keep my eyes peeled here for a dolphin, maybe. Being flat like this. The tide being relatively high right now and flat water. Maybe we might get lucky and have a little dolphin encounter this morning. That'd be fun. piece of driftwood down there. You know a lot of people collect driftwood. It's a nice little piece. It's probably about a little over two feet long. Probably won't, probably won't last long. Darn, I wish the sun was out. Well, I got some good news, everybody. Some really, really good news about our friend Roy. He will be out here for his birthday on December 20th. Roy will be at the beach on December 20th and we will be having a celebration. We'll be celebrating his 94th birthday. So if you're anywhere around, come on down, come on over, come on up to Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, December 20th, a week from today from today. I'm guessing we'll probably start the party oh, around 10.30ish, right around between 10 and 11. So come celebrate Roy's 94th birthday with us here at Del Norwegian's Pass a week from today. It'll be a grill here. I believe they'll be doing some cooking here. There'll be a barbecue grill going. But if you want to bring some snacks, you know, some food to share, that's usually what everybody does. They just bring a covered dish or some sweets. Roy loves his sweets. Roy is a... He loves his sweets and he loves smoked salmon. That is his favorite, smoked salmon. Looking forward to seeing you out here. And so is Roy. There is an os I think it's an osprey. It's on the beach in front of me. I can't tell if it's a gull. No. It's an osprey with a fish. Looks like it has a fish on the beach. It might be too heavy for it to carry. That's an osprey there on the beach. I want to go see what's going on here. Be sure that's a fish. I can't tell in the camera here. There's nothing wrong with its leg.
Whoa. What the heck does that thing have? Where'd it go? I'm trying to walk here and keep the Osprey in view. Wow. Dang it. It's flying out over the water. Hang on, I lost it. Hang on. Here he comes in. He's flying back in. He's got a huge fish. It's going to come right over me. Wow, it's got a big sheep's head. A big sheep's head in its talons. It's huge. Huge. It can barely get up in the air. It's trying to get up into the trees. It didn't get very high up into the trees down there. It's down there. But it had a huge sheep head. Go down there and take a look at it. Little sandpipers running around down here. Let's go down there. Let me see if I can find it in the tree down here real quick. I flew into that tree, he or she. I was having a hard time carrying that fish. It was so big. Where did it land? It's so darn dark out here this morning. So overcast, it's hard to see. It's just a black blob, that tree. It might have took off again. There's, I see it, I see it up there. flapping its wings. I think the fish is still kicking. It's got its butt facing me. If I, if I can come around here. Hang on. It's looking at me. I don't want to scare it away. There it is up there. It's got a huge, a big sheep head. That is a big fish that it's got. Pretty soon it's gonna start pecking away at it, having breakfast, but it got a heck of a catch there, that osprey. That is a big fish for that thing to carry around. Wow. Go ahead and eat your breakfast. Google Ospreys if you want to learn more about them. Osprey, O-S-P-R-E-Y, Osprey. Beautiful birds. Fish hawks, some people call them. Wow, very, very cool. There you go, it's just starting to chew on it now. That was cool. 
We hadn't seen our ospreys for a while here, for about a week. Now we got a good look at one. That was cool. Very cool. Now all we need is one of our, one or more of our dolphin friends to come by. That'd be cool. Nice and flat here. It's not very sunny, unfortunately. Gloomy day out here, gloomy day, gloomy morning. It's supposed to be like this most of the day, partly cloudy. I remember Tuesday, it was like this when we started our beach walk and then bam, by the end of the beach walk, it was beautiful, all cleared up. You just never know what Mother Nature has in store for us. You never know what we're going to see during these beach walks. I mean, sometimes right at the very end of my beach walks, something neat happens. That's the fun of being live. No dead fish out here on the beach, that's a good thing. Again, not seeing or smelling any signs of red tide. I think we're in pretty good shape here this morning. Very peaceful and quiet out here though. So far I've only seen one person, one jogger pass me by. It's like one person up to the north shelling and one park ranger out here just ahead of me. A few pelicans flying back and forth there. There's one coming up the beach here. Well, he was. Where'd he go? I lost him. Yeah, he landed up, up a ways there in the water. Thought he was gonna come flying by me, chasing fish. Well, this is the spot that the dolphins like to come in. Right in this little spot, right in here. When they're swimming by, they usually tend to come close to shore, right in this area here right up at the north end of area two. You see this boardwalk? There's a visual landmark there. They come in just north of this boardwalk usually. That's where I've had some good little dolphin encounters. The recent ones I've had have been right around in this area. I do not see any out here right now, however. Where did these little waves come from? It was nice and flat, and now just a couple little waves kicked up. Notice how we're not seeing any of those sandbars like we saw the past, the past few beach walks because we're still at high tide. Just our last beach walk on Tuesday, we were able to walk out onto some sandbars out here. Now they're still underwater. High tide's not till oh, after 11 sometime this morning. Didn't check the exact time. No rain here, no rain in these clouds, but it sure looks like it. Sure, it looks like it could be dumping on us. Hey, 
Hey, any pet lovers out there? Any dog lovers? Tonight, Venetian Village, Santa Paws. Venetian Village, the shops at Venetian Village on Venetian Bay. Bring your, bring your dogs out there tonight. Get a picture with Santa, Santa Paws. It's all for a good cause. It's all to raise money for the Naples Humane Society. Great bunch of people down there taking care of our animals. Santa Paws, there's some pelicans flying by. See them way out there, kind of far offshore there. They're right in the dark part there of the water. Nice little flock of pelicans. Slowly making their way down to the south. Like all the rest of the snowbirds. Sure, like a couple dolphins to come over here and keep me company. <laughs> oh, more pelicans flying by out there, way out there. Yeah. Some of our little shorebirds down here. One's taking its morning bath. Yeah. Was taking its morning bath. There it goes. There's about half a dozen of them down here. Looks like this one's sleeping over here. Even the waves didn't startle it. Great little screenshot there. Looks like somebody woke up. Just kind of stalling here. Really hoping to see a dolphin come by here. Darn it. It never fails. I'll start walking up the beach and they'll come by. If I wait for them, it's like I jinx myself. Well, there is a lot of shells. A lot of shells at the north end of area two. I haven't really, nothing's caught my attention yet, but there are a lot of shells piled up here. Look at them all. A lot of fighting conch shells again. We, boy, remember all those conchs we saw Tuesday during our beach walk? That was incredible. Up at Wiggins Pass, there's a big murex. It has a hole in it, but it's a big murex shell. Oh no, it doesn't have a hole in it. Why didn't somebody pick that up? Beautiful, beautiful apple murex. See, I won't be going home with empty pockets beautiful that is a really nice apple murex right there nice one what else might be down here 
Those murex shells are sometimes hard to spot just because of that rough spiny texture. They just kind of blend in with everything. Uh, nothing besides our fighting conks. There's a little moon shell. Any little moonies down here? No. Oh, little slipper shells. Slipper shells everywhere. There's an old crown conch. What's left of a crown conch? Ah, one of my favorites. I'd like to find a nice one of them. Come on, dolphins. Dolphins, dolphins, come by. Show yourself here. Show yourself to Rob and his friends. Just can't get over how empty the beach is this morning. I just, there's one person way up to the north. Piece of a moon shell. Piece of a moon shell. I saw that sitting on the ground there looking at me with its eye. Nice. Another. Another nice little apple murex shell. Another nice little apple murex. Nice little find. Two nice little apple murexes today so far. And I think I see a little horse conch, or what's left of a little horse conch. A little baby. Missing the very bottom of it. Little baby horse conch. Lots of nice little worm shells out here. Our wormies. Saw a bigger one here. I lost track of it. I just saw another murex. I saw a white one. Lace murex. Where did I see that now? It's funny how you take you turn away and you lose sight of things. I saw a lace murex right down here somewhere. Lots of little, lots of these little fighting conks. Lots of them. They're all over the place. The little fighting conks. All right, where did that murex go? Darn it. It was right down here under my nose. Can't stand when that happens. I know it's there. Ah. Piece of another moon shell there. Not much left of that one. Darn it. Where did that murex go? It was right down here. It was all white. Hmm. I can't believe I lost the shell. I lost sight of it. There's one. I don't know if that was it. That looks like a faded out. That's a faded out apple murex. Well, some neat little shells. Some cool little shells out here this morning. Again, lots of lots of conks, lots of fighting conch shells. There's a nice olive shell, nicely colored little olive shell. Still not seeing our dolphins come by. Still no dolphins. I know what's going to happen as soon as I start moving up the beach. They're going to come by and make an appearance. It happens all the time. Another little olive. 
See the difference in the colors? You can find some really nice olive shells out here, especially out in the water. See, difference in size and colors. They're really nice looking shells, the olives. Nice and shiny. There's another olive down there. Most of the time when you find the olives, the tips are broke off. See, this one's missing the tip. It's got a little hole in the end of it. There's an old turkey wing shell. A little on the faded side, the turkey wing. I haven't found any nice moon shells yet. Seen several broken moon shells. Pieces of them. There's another one. There's the, not even. Don't even have the eye on that one. Not much left of that one. Where's our whelk shells? Not seeing our whelks out here. Sorry if I'm boring you. What? I do enjoy my shelling in the morning. There's some great little things out here. This beautiful little scallop down here. Look at the colors on that. That's a nice one. Nice colors. Well, and just like that, the piles of shells start thinning out. Piece of a whelk down here. Piece of a lightning whelk. Nice colors. Come on, dolphins. See a little bit of sunlight hitting the beach way up to the north and ooh, little sun right now. Look, I got a little bit of a shadow, not a strong one. Yep, here comes a little bit of sun. It won't be out for long. It's gonna be peeking in and out all day through these clouds. Still beats the snow. Sorry, folks. <laughs> all you guys up there in the north, all our friends up north freezing their buns off. I'm out here walking the beach.
Still checking the little piles of shells as I walk by. You never know. You never know what's going to jump out at you. No matter how many people walk by, there's always something that gets missed. Especially when it comes to those little, little tiny shells. I tend to find a lot of little treasures on the beach here. But look there with the sun hitting, see how much easier it is to see the, the shells? Just, it gives it dimension. You can see the nice ones, they just almost pop out, they almost jump out at you when the sun's shining. Huge difference. A few hours from now, it'll be a nice big sandbar right out here. That water's getting really shallow right here now as the tide goes out. All right, time for another shell to go into my pocket. Where are you at? What I'd really like to go into my pocket is a shark's tooth. <laughs> That's what I'd like to see going into my pocket is big fat shark's tooth. So many little tiny shells down there. Lots of little worm shells. Nothing's jumping out at me though. I gotta walk really slow. Keep a sharp eye out. I found some really neat stuff in piles like this. Where when, at first glance, you really don't see anything. Just a jumble. And then like the more you start looking, all of a sudden, little tiny babies appear. Little teeny tiny shells. It's not happening now though, darn it. Can't get over how many worm shells there are on the beach though. I just there are so many worm shells, worm tips. There's piles of these things everywhere. All over. Can you see them? Can you see them all right down in there? They're everywhere. The worms are taking over the beach. Come on, dolphins. Really, really flat out there this morning. Really flat. It's definitely gonna be easy to see if a dolphin breaches the surface there. Just, I'm, I hope I'm here when they do it. So if you missed the good news earlier this morning, I'll repeat it. Roy is definitely gonna be out here for his birthday on December 20th, definitely. 
a week from today. We're going to celebrate his birthday here. Everyone is invited to attend. Our good friend Roy will be turning 94. The party will probably start between 10 and 11. If you want to bring something along to share, to eat, that's a good idea. One thing Roy loves is he loves his shrimp and he loves his smoked salmon. <laughs> And he also loves his goodies, cookies and cakes and brownies. He's got a sweet tooth, just like the rest of us. He also likes fruit, fresh fruit. Not a fruit plate. Anything to share with the gang would be great. So that's Roy's birthday party a week. From today, December 20th, up in Area 4, the north end of Area 4. Just ask them where Roy is at at the front gate, they'll tell you. They know where Roy hangs out. Roy's doctor actually gave him the okay to go to the beach, but we're thinking it's best he kind of just waits a little bit longer before he comes out here. Make his birthday the big day. Why push your luck? His leg is still healing. Gosh, there are just piles of shells up here in area four. Hard to see him though, darn it. It is so darn overcast out here this morning. Again, I am just blown away by the amount of worm shells. I mean, there's like pockets of them. You'll just see piles of them just stacked on top of each other. There's three little worm shells and a little tiny apple murex shell. What's neat about this murex, watch this. When I turn it over, you can see the inside of it. That's a great look at the inside of an apple murex. That is really cool inside of the apple murex great look inside that shell all right what is this down here what is this is this a big kitten paw or what is it is that a huge kitten paw shell that's the biggest one of these I've ever seen, or if that's what it is. It's huge. For a kitten paw, usually they're the size of about my, of my thumbnail. Wow. Neat. people have passed me on the beach so far today <laughs> one of them was the park ranger very gloomy gloomy morning out here still like I said like I always say it still beats the snow in any day there's a big old slipper shell old slipper see what it looks like when I turn it over see how it looks like a little slipper the slipper shell. And there's another big slipper. Let's see what kind of shape that's in. That's a nice one. I think I'll keep that one. It's got that little hook on it. Nice little slipper. Oh, 
old. The only moon shells I've seen this morning are broken. All broken. Here comes one of the, you can hear it in the background, behind the trees. One of the mosquito helicopters. They spray from helicopters here to control the bugs. You can hear it behind me. Nice little cockle shell down here. A little cockle shell. Let's see a little whelk, a broken whelk over here. I'll go grab that and show it to you. Remember all those shells we found up at Wiggins Pass on Tuesday? Wasn't that incredible? I wasn't even going to go up there, and boy, did it turn into a... Did it? Did I get rewarded or what for going up to Wiggins Pass on Tuesday? I watched that at the end of the video, the shelling. Just amazing. Darn, there's a beautiful whelk. Beautiful colors, but unfortunately... It's, man, it's got a big chip in it. That is absolutely gorgeous colors that would have been a beautiful specimen of a lightning whelk if it didn't if it wasn't broken beautiful beautiful colors <coughs> excuse me gorgeous lightning whelk somebody might add that might take that you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder that's what they say it goes with everything in life People, animals, flowers, shells. <laughs> hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, don't forget to hit the share button. Let your friends join in with us. Be sure to like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Don't forget about Nonstop Naples. Be sure to like that too. You're gonna catch me over there once in a while doing some walks around town and walking at other beaches. What's left of a little tulip shell here. It's like another little Murex. What kind of shape is that in? Yep, yeah, it's pretty busted up. A little Apple Murex. Some neat stuff out here though this morning. And remember, I'm just kind of going for the more unusual shells. If you are thinking about starting a shell collection, there's plenty of neat stuff out here to get you started. All kinds of different little shells here to get a nice collection started. These are just, I just find these so fascinating, these worm shells. I'm always picking them up. Every once in a while, I'll find a nice, really long one. Still, I've not seen a dolphin come by. Darn it. I know what's going to happen. There's going to be one swim by and it's going to make me chase it all the way down the beach. <laughs> How many of you have been with me when I've done that? Sometimes I chase them back and forth. Just never know what those, what shenanigans they're going to be up to, those dolphins. Little color on this worm shell. Look at that. It's almost a pink. See that one on the top there? That's just a piece of it. It's almost pink. That's kind of neat looking. A little different looking. Piece of the worm shell. Another broken Murex. Piece of a Murex, a piece of an apple Murex. I got a feeling there's a lot of Apple Murexes and 
lace murexes buried in these piles out here this morning. I think you definitely want to come out here and do some sifting, some digging around. Something else you find out here that's common that you probably want to have a piece of in your collection is this worm rock. That's some pretty cool stuff, the worm rock. Dreary, dreary day here. Darn. I have not, there's another, bro, looks like another piece of a moon shell, a shark eye shell. I have not found one of those today. Not a whole one today, just broken ones all morning. Oh boy, is that a big apple? Yep. Another nice little apple murex, pretty good size apple murex. There's an old, an old one faded out here. An old murex there, lost all its color. I've been finding several of these murex shells this morning. It's a murex morning. Some mornings are moon shell mornings, some are conch mornings, some are whelk mornings. Looks like this morning's a murex, murex morning. Seagull over here keeping an eye on me, wondering what I'm doing in his shells. Yeah, you can share your shells with me, buddy. It's okay. I don't know about you. I'm having fun out here this morning. No pressure. <laughs> Getting ready for Christmas. Christmas for me and just... Spending time with the family and friends. That's what it's all about. Not into the big gift giving things and small presents, nothing crazy. Just about quality time with friends and family. There we go. I'm not going home without a little moon shell. I got one. I got my little shark eye this morning. Nice shiny one. Awesome. Great morning for shelling if you come out here. I guarantee you're going to find something nice. I'm not taking them all, believe me. There's too many out here. Too big of an area to cover this morning. There's lots of shells strewn about the beach today. Beautiful conchs down here, beautiful fighting conchs, scallop shells. Like I said, lots of nice things to get a collection started. Beautiful little conch over here. A beautiful little fighting conch. Look at the stripes on the back of that fighting conch. That is a nice one. <sighs> Look at them all. Look at the pile of shells down here. Just incredible. I can only imagine 
what's buried in there. <laughs> it's hard walking over these things in bare feet too, getting out into the middle. I think I see some of our feathered friends up the beach here. I haven't seen them sitting out on, this, on the beach there, up on the point, up in Area 4 for a while. I think I see a few. Hopefully they'll be there when I get up there. I'm just taking my time here looking at the shells. Not going as slow as I should, but nonetheless, I found some nice little murex shells this morning. A couple nice little olives. But as you can see, there's shells all over. Look at all these shells. Great morning out here. Very quiet, calm. It was 64 when I walked out onto the beach when I first walked out this morning. Expecting a high of, the high is up around 79 today. There's a pear whelk. A little pear whelk chipped up on the edges. A little pear whelk. Boy, lots of conchs up here again. Lots and lots of fighting conch shells out on the beach. Those are always a good start to a nice shell collection, some fighting conchs. We got all sizes out here today. lightning whelk. I've not found a lightning whelk that isn't broken yet today. Found one that had gorgeous colors but it had a big chip in it. The lightning whelks. Looks like another nice little worm tip or worm tip olive shell. Let's see. Nope. This one's this one's missing its tip, that olive shell. Little piece of coral. What you doing there, Mr. Seagull? This guy's following me along the beach. I don't have anything for you. Every time I pick up a shell, he thinks it's something to eat. He's just been following along behind me. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Thanks, Mr. Seagull, for distracting me long enough to look down. Nice little alphabet cone. How sweet is that? Very nice. Little alphabet cone. Great find. Thought I saw a tulip. What kind of condition is it in? Yeah, it's busted up. Little tulip shell. It's nothing to eat. This guy's hungry. He's looking for a free meal. I mean, he's like, right. I can reach out and touch him. This little seagull. His little web feet. I don't have anything to eat, buddy. If I did, I wouldn't give it to you. You're not supposed to feed wildlife. And I'm sorry. Yeah, you're wildlife looking right at me while I'm talking. <laughs> so cute. Such a cute little bird. Hey, 
Hey. I, mean, I can just reach my arm out and pet this little guy. Are you gonna leave me? Where are you going? It's gonna show everybody your cute little face. Hey, what you doing? Where are you headed off to? You got a new little beach friend. Cute. That is so cool. No, 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 no. He tried to land on my head. <laughs> no, no, no. He tried to land on my head. <laughs> oh, you're a cute little thing. You're just going to come up the beach with me, I guess. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's broken. I saw that Murex sitting on the beach. That's a big one, but it's broken. Darn it, it's missing the top. Darn. Darn it, darn it. You gonna come up with, you gonna follow me? You gonna stick around with me and follow me up the beach? I'm gonna have to give you a name. I'm going to have to give you a name. How about... What shall we name this seagull? Just found a little moon shell. What shall we name this little seagull that's been following me up the beach? I don't have anything for you to eat. I don't have anything for you to eat. <laughs> Sammy the seagull. I hope it's a boy. Well, Samantha. It could be Sammy. Okay, let's see if Sammy keeps following me as I walk up here. You gonna come with me, Sammy? Maybe I'm a bird brain. Go. What? Where did Sammy go? Sammy is not behind me. Oh yeah, Sammy's just standing there behind me looking at me. Here's some cool shells. Another this is a really, really old Murex shell, really old. That's been buried for a while. Nice, another nice big olive shell. Beautiful olive shell. A little tulip shell, a little banded tulip, a little baby banded tulip. I saw something else, darn it, that I was going to pick up over here. Yeah, big piece of a worm, big piece of a worm shell. Oh, I saw a moon shell, I did see a moon. That's a nice piece of a worm tube right there, worm shell. Little moon, little moon shell, nice little moon, shark eye shell. Another little murex, busted up a little bit.
little baby lightning whelk shell. There's a little baby lightning whelk. Wow, some great little finds today. Great little finds. Sammy. Sammy's gonna stay back there on the beach. Sammy the seagull. Our new look our new little seagull friend this morning. Sammy, what you doing? Sammy's right there. Boy, we got a eye to eye look at Sammy there earlier. Sammy's looking for a free meal. Oh. Oh, Sammy just caught up with me. Here he or she is over here. Oh, so many shells. So many piles of shells to look through here. I'm really happy with what I got already. I don't need any more this morning. <laughs> I'm quite content with what I've found. And believe me, there's plenty more out here for people to go through. If you're one of those that wants to come out here and spend some time, it's going to be well worth it. Hey. Hey, Sammy. Sammy, Sammy. What's up? Well, not many friends, not many people here following along with us this morning. Maybe some folks are at work. If you enjoy these beach walks, remember, tell your friends. Nobody pays me to come out and do these. I love sharing my mornings with everybody. I like keeping everybody updated with what's going on here with the water, with our water conditions. I do enjoy bringing everybody together on social media here. Anybody wants to make a little donation, it's always appreciated, especially now around the holidays. Every little bit helps. Looks like some of Sammy's friends up here. Sammy and the Seagull's friends. There's some turns, a couple different types of turns, lesser turns and royal crested turns up here. Anybody wants to make a little donation, you can find my PayPal account, a link to my PayPal account right here in the description of the post. Like I said, everybody little every little bit helps. So thank you very much. Have not seen our dolphin buddies go by. Darn it. I was really hoping we'd get a little dolphin sighting this morning. A little dolphin encounter. Just being so flat out here. A little sun popping out. Ah, that's nice. Lighting up the beach. A little whelk shell down here, a little lightning whelk condition might that be in pretty good condition a little tiny chip that's a nice colored lightning whelk there nice colors 
Beautiful colors on that lightning well. Beautiful little fighting conch shell right there. Little moon shell it looks like. Little moon shell right there. Couple nice little shells. One, two, three in a row. Boom, boom, boom. All next to each other. Made it easy. Another little murex shell. A little murex. It's just funny, I'll stop to pick up one shell and then bam, I'll see something right next to it. Kind of cool. Kind of cool the way that works. It's all about stopping and paying attention. <laughs> little orange orange scallop shell down here <laughs> it's got a little chip in it still pretty still a pretty shell a little orange scallop hey this is where we're gonna be see those trees up there this is the north end of area 4 beach next Tuesday a week from today that's where we're gonna be Gonna be celebrating Roy's 94th birthday. That's December 20th. Mark the date. Everybody's welcome. The party will start probably sometimes, sometime around 10, 11, I don't know, in there. But just bring something to share, something to eat to share. You know, Roy, he likes his fruits, his fish. He loves shrimp. He loves uh, smoked salmon. Uh, smoked salmon, he goes crazy. Cheese, Roy loves his cheeses, blue cheese. It is his favorite. So everybody's welcome to attend the party. Mark that date on your calendar. December 20th, a week from today, right up here, the north end of Del Nor, north end of Area 4 at Roy's Beach. Going to be kind of a big day. It's going to be his first official day back at the beach since his mishap with that flesh eating bacteria. Spread the news. I'm pretty sure I'll do a live feed for those of you up north that can't make the party. Dreary, yucky day out here, yucky morning. But we did have some great shelling, some great shelling already this morning. So I'm a happy camper despite the ugly weather. I'm not seeing or smelling any signs of the red tide out here, so that's good news. That's good news. There's our friend Bill, Shark Tooth Bill up here. I wonder if he found any sand dollars or anything. It looks like a slow morning for him up here. What's up, Bill? Don't worry, buddy. All right. Find anything good this morning? Uh, one shark's tooth. A shark's tooth? This morning and one yesterday. Nice. A little piece of sea glass for my wife. Oh, she's a sea glass collector? Yeah. So. Oh, nice. One, those, are, those are nice ones. That's a real old guy. That was this morning. That's yesterday. Nice. Did you find him up north there? Yeah, just over here. Sweet. And I found something better than that. Uh-oh. A gold Rolex? <laughs> Actually, I found a fishing reel yesterday. A fishing reel? In good condition? Oh, look at the hole. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that thing. Look at the size of that. It's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. That is the biggest one probably found on this beach. 
that thing is. Was that on the beach or in yeah, the water? No, in the water. Unbelievable, Bill. What a find. In the water. That is incredible. Look at the color on it. Yeah, that is awesome. <coughs> Look at that thing. What a monster. Wow. What color on it. So did you hear about Roy? No, what Doctor now? Doctor said he can come to the beach. He can? Yeah, but he's not going to. No. But for his party, we can have it up there in the benches there. Well, that's what we're planning. I mean, I'm we can do for, it right up where we did do it all the time. We I'm don't have to go for, in the parking uh, lot. He, I know he was going to see the surgeon, so uh, I was over to see him the other day. We yeah. spent about an hour together the other day. Uh, he's in really good spirits. Yeah. And the uh, one leg that was really, really bad is getting better, and then yeah. the other one swelled up and went right back down the next day. Yeah. Talk about a lucky guy, eh? He is lucky. Maybe being stubborn has something to do with it. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's working. Yep. We should all follow it. Thank goodness. <laughs> now, I'm waiting for Jackie and uh, what it can, Wally to let me know when, when we're going to do it on the Thursday for sure. Right, on the 20th. Uh, yeah, on yeah. the 20th. It's usually like around 10, 11. Yeah, we'll, we'll we do it around 10 o'clock, something like that. Yeah. That's, what, That's what I've been telling people. Just show up around 10, 11. We'll be there. You we'll, won't miss it. We'll put our sign on the beach. There you go. Roy's <laughs> Beach. You got it. <laughs> all right, Bill. Easy. Good. That is an awesome shell. Yeah. Yeah, that was incredible. Man, that was a huge, huge nautica shell. Huge. Absolutely incredible. Let's see if I would have hurried up and quit dilly dallying, I would have found that this morning. Darn it. You snooze, you lose. That's all right. My day will come. Well, I think I'm just gonna turn around and go back. Bill's got a good eye. So he's gone through and found the really nice stuff up here at the north end of the park. Not doing so good on his shark's teeth. He was finding lots of them last year. This year is not quite as many. We did find one nice one so far this morning that he shared with us. I'm just amazed though how many shells there are on the beach today. Looks like they probably came up yesterday. So they're pretty dry. Like I always say, if somebody, if you got patience, you're gonna find something down here. You're gonna find something nice. This takes time and perseverance when you're digging through these piles of shells like this. Turn around. I hate turning around. I feel like if I just walk another 10 steps, I'm gonna find something. It's really hard for me to turn around and start walking back. It's crazy. It's like, I know there's something right up here. If I turn around, I'm gonna miss it. Somebody else is gonna get it. Broken, looks like a big broken whelk over here. Yeah, that's a pretty nice whelk shell. 
it's not broke it's chipped up a little at, down at the bottom still got nice color great colors on it I'll keep that see that's the reason I came up here <laughs> must have been that wealth shell calling me and what else nothing else some worm shell a little scallop nice little wormy another nice little wormy lots of them nice little scallop shell all great little shells to get a collection started old moon shell here that one's got some interesting textures it's kind of cracking falling apart it's kind of different looking another little one over here See how hard it is for me to turn around? <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> I have to. I have to turn around. up to this tree stump and then I'm going to turn around and that is it no matter what all right the water looks great up here tide slowly going out slowly making its way out. Some sunlight, a little bit of sunlight hitting the water. Nice. Is that a little moon shell down there looking at me? Yes, it is. It's had its little eye on me as I was walking by.
gloomy Thursday morning here, but still, still better than snow any day. How are you? Good. Good. Do you remember Roy? Uh huh. What happened to him? Oh, he got sick. He got he got flesh-eating bacteria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's gonna be here on December 20th, a week from today, for his birthday. Wonderful. We're gonna have a party for him. Okay. It's gonna be the first time he's been back here All right. since it, August. Is this in the morning? It's gonna the be party? from 10. It starts around 10. Okay. And till whenever. All right. But right up here. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. All of our friends, our seasonal visitors, are coming back and wondering where Roy is. The beach just isn't the same here without Roy sitting up in Area 4. And they're all concerned about him. He doesn't realize what a fixture he's become here at the park. <laughs> God bless him. I do miss seeing him out here. I miss chatting with him in the mornings. He was... He had gotten to be the highlight of my beach walks. I'd always save my little conversations with Roy for the end of my morning beach walks. Well, I think that's gonna start happening soon. I think, once again, that's gonna be happening. The doctor has said he can come to the beach, but we're just gonna hold back a little while longer. Not gonna push it. But he will be here on his birthday next Thursday. And then, maybe slowly, gradually after his birthday, he'll start coming back and he and I will maybe sit up on a bench somewhere and have our little conversations again and get that ball rolling. So there's something to look forward to. Shorebirds here, some gulls, terns, little sandpipers running around. No signs of any dolphins this morning, though, darn it. I was hoping with the tide being a little higher this morning and the water so flat, maybe we'd have a little dolphin encounter. Such a one. Darn it.
Had the neatest little encounter with the seagull this morning. He or she just kept following along behind me as I was walking up the beach. And right up next to me, we named it Sammy. Samuel or Samantha, we don't know if it was a boy or a girl, so Sammy's a good generic name, Sammy the Seagull. Although it's been used already, but that was fun. Then Sammy actually flew up and tried to land on my head. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on with Sammy? That was fun. That was my first little seagull encounter here in the years that I've been coming out here. And we have just found, we saw so many great shells this morning. As you can see, there's piles of them down here, piles of shells, all different kinds. Look at that conch, fighting conch shell. There's a piece of a crown conch. We've seen so many different types of shells. Beautiful piece of a, a jewel box shell right here. Half a jewel box shell. Lots and lots of great stuff out here. I found a lot of murex shells this morning. A couple pretty nice little lightning whelks. There's so many shells out here. If you want some shells this morning, it's the morning to come out here. It's definitely gonna be worth your while. of a murex down there an old murex sliced in half there kind of a neat look at a murex a little worm a worm shell there's a little lightning oh top of a lightning whelk thought there was a lightning whelk sticking in the sand lots of cool stuff out here this morning and like I always say, the more you look, the more you're going to find. You just got to be patient and take your time. I've got quite a few shells in my pocket this morning again. Every morning is different. Every morning we find something different out here. Sometimes we don't find anything. That doesn't happen very often. But every once in a while, there'll be a morning where we don't find anything. I'm just a little disappointed. I was really hoping to spot a dolphin or two out here this morning. Really easy to see them with this flat water like that. Some, of the, some more of the shells here, just piles of them. Piles of them this morning. There's a little bit of blue sky up there, just a little bit of blue peeking through. Not much. See these little bumps? They're all little piles of shells down the beach. A 
Well, this morning, when we first came out here, we got a good look at an osprey. He kind of got away from me there for a minute. He was up on the beach. He had a huge fish. Looked like he had a huge sheep head that he was, it was almost too big for it to carry. And that was kind of neat. Where's another colorful whelk? Busted up, but colorful. Oh, I saw a little baby olive down here. Yeah. Look at that nice little baby olive shell. That's a nice one. A nice little baby olive shell. So today, we didn't see dolphins. We did see, but we had some bird encounters. Huh, I didn't even think about that. Today was bird day. We had our osprey encounter. And then we had our seagull encounter. That was funny. Sammy the seagull. Very curious little seagull this morning. Tide is slowly going out, very slow. Maybe an inch of water right out here, maybe, if that. But not, not seeing our dolphins out here. Not seeing them anywhere. Barely any blue sky. Barely any blue sky there. Pretty much overcast and cloudy all day today. Got a moon shell down here, possibly. Yep. Nice little moony down there. See, I walked by here earlier, but I missed it. Nice little shark eye. See, even the best of shellers miss things. See those flamingos, the pictures of the flamingos that I posted from Everglades Wonder Gardens. That's a fun little spot. It's not very big. It's a couple hours there is plenty of time to see everything. But the really neat thing is the flamingos. You can actually hand feed the flamingos there. That is really cool. I don't know how many there are there, half a dozen or so. Beautiful birds, the flamingos. I'm turning around here, hoping 
Just hoping to see a dolphin come by, but no such luck. Darn them. Where are you guys at this morning? Great conditions though to see them. The only thing to make it better is if the sun was out. But nice and flat. Guys, we're here when we came out this morning. Fun to do a little bird watching here. Whoop. The wave chased it away. It's hard to follow them. I don't know which way they're going. about back to where we started from. The boardwalk, we started on the boardwalk. The north end of area two, the north end of parking lot two. We had a good morning shelling. Like I said, got, a, got to see an osprey, got a pretty good look at an osprey. Then we met up with a pretty curious little seagull this morning. Followed me along the beach for a little while. They actually named the seagull Sammy. So you might want to check that out. Remember, I don't get paid to do these beach walks. If anybody wants to make a little donation, it's always appreciated. Every little bit helps, especially now around the holidays. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do Make sure you like and follow Southwest Florida Television and also Nonstop Naples. Don't forget Nonstop Naples. I'll be popping up on there once in a while with some live feeds. You'll also see some other interesting little things, interesting places to go and visit and restaurants. And so be sure to like and follow Nonstop Naples. And there's the sun. The sun just came out for a brief moment here. 
making a little appearance. I gotta take a picture of the sun. Oh, we got uh, as quick as it came out. Uh, the sun is already disappearing. All right, well, I'm gonna sign off. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday, wherever you might be watching from. Like I said, if anybody wants to make a little donation, it's always appreciated. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. I really appreciate those of you that have sent something. I'm not asking for millions of dollars or thousands or hundreds. I'm not getting rich out here, believe me. <laughs> Most of that money it goes just goes towards paying the phone bill so I can continue to do these live things. Well have a wonderful day. Wherever you might be watching from, stay warm. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.